Hello everyone, it's Ali from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here kicking off our Zendikar Rising openings today to celebrate the release date 9-25-2020. The brand new Zendikar Rising expansion for Magic the Gathering does officially release today. We're we'll opening up some set boosters, some collector boosters, and we'll have some personal breaks of more collector boosters and draft boosters as well. If I have enough time, I'll do another draft booster or two, but for now we're going to be opening up the two set boosters, two collector boosters, and doing those personal breaks, and then we'll figure out where we are at. But this is is exciting i haven't opened up any of these set boosters we did not get in too many of these so make sure to not wait too long if you're local if you want to come pick some up uh, there were problems with this product in terms of uh like uh, distribution and whatnot. So we are getting more in the future along with more collector boosters, but uh, our initial uh, order, we got only half of it. The rest of it should be coming in the next week or so. So just be, you know, just for warning for all of you out there hunting for Zendikar packs, set booster, draft booster, and collector booster packs. Uh, they might be a bit hard to find right now, but let's go ahead and get on into this. I am excited to check it out. I opened up one of our two, only two, we were only able to get two of these Zendikar play mats. Um, I, I'm not for, I'm not sure exactly which pathway land this is. Let me know in the comment section down below. That'll be today's topic. Help me identify this playmat. But let's go ahead and get into the set booster box by snapping ourselves into the corner and let's check it on out. I am excited. This is the first time they've ever done these set boosters. And from what I know, they're pretty cool. Now on the back here, it does say, what is a set, what's a set booster? If you're not looking to draft, set boosters are an exciting new way to add to your collection. Each booster contains at least one rare or mythic, maybe more, a guaranteed foil, an art card, and if you're lucky, an exciting card from Magic History. This display box contains 30 set boosters plus one box topper. Each booster has 12 randomly inserted game cards, rule book not included. So let's get into here. Now they do also have an interesting box shape. They're kind of shaped like master's boxes. Uh, not not completely, but just the, uh, the way the top pops up like this. Very interesting design here. Let me hold that for you guys. It is cool, so I'm excited to check this out. You do get that box topper, which has those expedition lands, non-foil, of course, only able to get the foil ones in the packs of collector boosters, not the box stoppers for collector boosters. Those are also non-foil, even though you get two of those packs in there. You can only get the foils inside the packs of collector boosters. So let's check this out. I know a lot of people wait to the end. I don't care. We're going to start off here. It's the first pack. I'm going for it. So let's see what land we have here. We have Strip Mine. That looks cool. Tap to add colorless. Sacrifice Strip Mine. Destroy target land. Very cool. Let me get that sleeved up. Definitely not bad box topper to get here. New art by Adam Paquette. And here we go. Pack number one, a new kind of booster. Here's the art card. Ooh. I like that they brought these back. I will most likely look towards completing a set for myself. I do have the complete set from Modern Horizons. So, I'd like to add to that collection that I have. We're an uncommon. We have Territorial Scythe Cat Alternate Showcase. Alright, so they're kind of just mixed up in the pack. Hey, we have a Mythic Ancient Green Warden. Tajuru Blight Blade Foil. And the Get to Know Your Boosters. Guaranteed Foil up to four rares. Perfect for limited versus set booster. And a plant token. Alright. Ooh, that's cool. That is Murkwater Pathway, Johannes Voss. Hey, we have a Foil Island. We have Needle Verge Pathway and Pillar Verge Pathway, Squad Commander, Foil Rare, and Magic Minigame Booster Blitz. Interesting, interesting. And cat token. Let me make my own pile for foil rares. Alright, so foil rares and mythics, other foils, alternate arts. Alright, I think I have enough piles, but we'll find out as we keep going. Ooh, another really cool art card. We have Wasteland by Adam Pocket. A 
Verizol, the Split Current, rare, and Canopy Balith, foil. Hey, we have one of those magic history cards. We have Grim Harrowspex from a con set. And it does have that little kind of Planeswalker symbol there, just like the um, Mystery Boosters, the show. This is what set the cards from, but it is not the original. It is a reprint. Oh, yeah, I just said I had enough piles, but that apparently was a lie. Here we go. I put that up there. So Grim Harrow Specs, rare. There's our art card. Core Celebrant. Zandu Nectar Pot, Akiri, Fearless Voyager, Felidar Retreat, Expedition Diviner, and Urborg Panther from Mirage. Hey, there's the Seagate Caller with the foil signature. All right, so Anna Steinbauer. There's the signature card, or the signature. Let me sleeve that one on up. Put that with our strip mine. We have Crack Maw, Skyclave Ravager, and Marauding Blight Priest. Forest. We have Skyclave Shade. Lotus Cobra Foil. That is gorgeous. Showcase Lotus Cobra Foil. Oh man, wow. I want one of these. That is beautiful. Look at that. It's the first time I've seen this card, and that is amazing. That gets its own pile. That I love that art so much. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, so I'm definitely collecting all these showcase foils from the set. Ooh, that's a cool looking land. Which pathway is this? Pillar Verge Pathway by Noah Bradley. Spitfire Legac. Hagra Mauling, and Null Priest of Oblivion, Foil Rare. There's the uh, Seagate. Yep, Linvala Shield of Seagate. Yep, those are uncommons. Wind Rider Wizard, uncommon. Confounding Conundrum, Rare, and Foil, McKindy Ox, Showcase. Umara Mystic. Tajiru Paragon, Rare. Mrs. Zendicon, foil. Well, that's cool. Reclaim the wastes. Dreadworm, Lotus Cobra, rare showcase non foil. Glasspool Mimic and Glasspool Shore. Scorch Rider. So just the one mythic so far. But I'm loving that foil Lotus Cobra. Wow. Seagate Restoration by Adam Paquette. Brushfire Elemental. Ashaya, Soul of the Wild. Mythic. Tazim Raptor, and a hey, Snubhorn Sentry from Rivals of Ixalan. It's 
Celestial Colonnade. Huh. It's the art for Celestial Colonnade. Didn't realize that. Hey, Lotus Cobra. There's a snake in my box. Mountain by Sam Burley. And we have a Foil Plains. Full art. These uncommons not being all in the same spots uh, is driving me a bit wild. But... I'm still liking these set boosters. We have Null Priest of Oblivion, Skyclave Apparition, and Cliffhaven Kite Sail. It's just, it's just throwing me off a little bit. I can't sort as fast as I would like to. But overall, I am, I am so far a really big fan of these set boosters. Just two Mythic so far. But we got a lot of Snicks. So that's a win in my book. You guys think they're already going to ban Lotus Cobra or something else? Black Bloom Rogue. Wayward Guide Beast. Spitfire Legac. And Crystalline Sliver from Stronghold. Island by Pop Kit. Skyclave Squid. Branch Loft Pathway. And Boulder Loft Pathway. Linvala Shield of Seagate and Inordinate Rage Foil. Hey, there's Nissa. By Yongjae Choi. We have Shadow's Verdict Rare, Zoff Consummation, or Consumption, and Zoff Blood Bog. Highborn Vampire, Foil Forest, that is gorgeous. Canopy Balath. Thieving Skydiver, Dreadworm Foil, we have Skyclave Shade, Relic Robber, and Expedition Skulker. Is that that flying, uh, yeah, it's uh, not flying, it's just Death Shadow, but extra. Scourge of the Skyclaves. Phylath, World Sculptor, Throne of McKindy, and hey, Foil Mythic, Shatter Skull Smashing, and Shatter Skull the Hammer Pass. Very cool. Last pack in the middle row of this box, so we are two-thirds of the way done here. This looks like something from Overwatch. Looks like we have another artist signature here. Skyclave Basilica by Johannes Voss. Almost missed it, but it is another signature card here. We'll get that sleeved up momentarily. Okay, Valkut Exploration, Showcase, and Fisher Wizard, and Noble Benefactor. Swamp.
We have a Puma Hellhound, Clearwater Pathway, and Murkwater Pathway, and then Prowling Felidar, Showcase Foil. This popped out here. Ooh, there is the Lotus Cobra. Pretty, pretty snake. The artist on that is Sam Rowan. Throne of McKindy, Myriad Construct, and Roiling Regrowth. All right, this is getting kind of annoying here. Get in there. Angel of Destiny, Foil Mountain, Canyon Jerboa, Tajiru Paragon, and Subtle Strike, Bajuka Bog from World Wake, Doing some housekeeping. That's a big boy. We have Yasharn, Implacable Earth. Leyline Tyrant and Royal Eruption. Boulder Loft Pathway. Relic Robber, Ondu Inversion, and Zareth San, the Trickster. Hey, three rares in that pick. Pack, turn Timber, Acetic. Not bad. Guaranteed foil up to four rares. So we did see three there. Haven't seen one with four yet. There's a Forest, I believe. Let's see. Yep, Forest by Adam Pocket. Cragpate. Crag Plate Balath and Akum Hellhound. Council's Judgment from Conspiracy. Bonus rare there. Hey, there's a Shia, right? Yep, a Shia, Soul of the Wild. Prowling Felidar. Crag Crown Pathway, Borderless. And Zagras Thief of Heartbeats Foil Rare. Down to the last three packs of this first set booster. I'm going to be opening up another one next, so make sure to stay tuned for that video. We have another Seagate Stormcaller, the non signed version there. We have Sca uh, Shatter Skull Charger, Utility Knife. I'm thinking next set booster. Hey, look, we have Jana here. Jana, the last blood sheep. I'm just going to keep uncommons and commons in the same pile. That'll also shave off some time. It'll also give me more room for more piles for our different rares and whatnot. We have Nighthawk Scavenger and Highborn Vampire. The last pack of the set booster box. Set booster booster box. Ooh, that's cool. Who's that? Is anti cognition. Archpriest of Iona, Shadow's Verdict, and Seagate Colossus, and Vidugazi Guild Mage. And that will do it here for our first set booster box opening on the channel. Now, we did get two artist signature cards, so that was cool. I think it's supposed to be about one per box, so that is nice to see that we got two. Let's take a look at those. 
we had by Johannes Voss. We had Skyclave Basilica and Seagate Stormcaller by Anna Steinbauer. For our box topper, we did get a strip mine full art expedition. Got one borderless rare. We had Crag Crown Pathway slash Timber Crown Pathway. We had two showcase rares, Lotus Cobra and Valakut Exploration. Also had a foil showcase Lotus Cobra, which is absolutely gorgeous. Love the way his eyes light up when he moves the card. We also had a foil mythic, Shatter Skull Smashing slash Shatter Skull the Hammer Pass. Three regular mythics, Ancient Green Warden, Ashaya, Soul of the Wild, and Leyline Tyrant. Big ol' stack of rares here. I'm not going to go through that, but we will take a look at our foil rares. Just three, Squad Commander, Null Priest of Oblivion, and Zagras, Thief of Heartbeats. And then two other showcase foils. We had McKindy Ox and Prowling Felidar. We also had those, like, Magic's Legacy cards. Take a look at those. A couple of rares in here, I believe. Council's Judgment. Pachuca Bog's not bad. And Grim Harrow's Pax is also a rare. And that will do it for this box's recap. I really enjoyed opening up this set booster box. I'm loving the art cards. I'm loving the return of those art cards. The signatures aren't don't look quite like I expected. They're nice, but they're not as nice as I feel like they could have been. But they're still pretty cool looking. Uh, I do like that they put them on the art card. I was thinking they might be on the regular cards, like a different kind of regular foiling. But I guess it makes sense they don't want to give another type of foil that you can use because you already have the regulars, you have foils, you have showcases if they exist, showcase foils, you'll have the border, the uh, extended arts for collector boosters and those foils. So there, there's a lot of different cards. It makes sense that they don't want to have yet another variation that's playable. But um, that isn't what I expected them to look like. But they're still pretty cool. But this was definitely a fun opening. I love seeing all these Lotus Cobras. And I'm definitely going to be collecting a set of that for myself. Hopefully, uh, we've opened enough to be able to make one. And I can pick that up. If not, I'll have to find it somewhere else. But this was a fun opening. Do have another box coming up next. So if you're interested, make sure to stay tuned for that. But let me get this cleared off here. And then we can move on into that next opening. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you had as much fun as I did, make sure to smack that like button. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. We're quickly approaching 10,000 subscribers. And even if we hit there soon, we'd still love to have you with us on this journey here on YouTube. Of course, if you know the original art card, well, the original card for this playmat I have in the background, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you have any other comments, feel free to leave them down below as well. But that is it for me here in this first set booster box opening. I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!